This is China's $1.5 billion flying car company. And since 2013, they've been making these huge drones transport human. And in this video, I will show you how they went from this to this. Welcome to Expon Aerot, the largest flying car slash eVTOL company in Asia. And since I also built these giant drones myself, I decided to travel all the way here to learn from the experts. Expon Aerot was started by this prodigy Zhao Deli, who graduated Stanford University in... <laughs> I'm just kidding, he actually dropped out of high school in poverty before becoming an RC helicopter factory owner before finally deciding to use literally all his savings to build his flying motorcycle, which he almost died from. I will have a separate video on his backstory and lore. And later, he took his flying motorcycle to TV reality shows with some major Chinese celebrities before this guy, He Xiaopeng, found him. Then, He Xiaopeng, a CEO of another billion-dollar public company, Expon, decided that he could risk all his life to fly in Deli's third prototype, which seats two people at a time. And after a very fortunate safe landing, without much hesitation, he personally invested in Huitian, the RC factory, and turned it into Expon Aero Huitian, or eventually, Expon Aerot. Right here in front of me is a legendary flying motorcycle, which he used to impress everyone. And their co-founder, who was a designer, joined the team and made this model, the x T1, all the way back in 2019. And later, they developed a more stable version by decreasing the size profile, and that became the X1 in 2020. And finally, they developed the X2, which is their latest product to fly a human. But due to today's battery technology limitations, these aircraft has a very limited flight time of only 20 to 30 minutes. So before they can become a complete standalone product, their next product, named the Modular Flying Car, is a car that is able to hatch this giant hexacopter from the trunk, which you're supposed to drive it to the middle of nowhere and fly them for exploration and entertainment purposes. Apparently, you can also use it as a cargo drone to deliver to remote areas. So here's my thoughts on this company, Expon Erat. First of all, I think it's a great company with a very inspirational founder story. And let me know if you want me to expand on this in the comments. This company is also very unique compared to the rest of the eVTOL world. While most of the eVTOL companies are developing these tilt rotor transitional wings design, Expon Aerot decided let's just stick with multi-rotor for now and progress into transitional fixed wing in the future as a next step. This decision allowed them to develop much more simple aircraft, but this also compromised the safety because of their lack of ability to glide and auto-rotate. But in terms of safety, which is a huge thing in aviation, they did a couple motor shutdown tests, which were successful to demonstrate they could still be safe when there's a partial power failure. But you may ask, oh, what happened if there's a total power failure? And this is the part I really want to emphasize. They developed this parachute with one of the lowest opening attitude in the world. And this very parachute system is also able to withstand one whole ton of weight on for this monster aircraft. So that's something they really pride themselves in. But personally, what I think made them much more special than the rest of the eVTOL world is that for every generation of prototype, they're actually flying human. And when I say flying, I mean a lot, a lot of flying. And since I study mechanical engineering and business at BC Berkeley, I surround myself with a bunch of American eVTOL companies such as Jovi, Archer, Opener, and Supernal. It was really interesting to see what is going on across the globe here in China. And to be honest with you, I am super excited to see what these companies can bring to our everyday lives, especially seeing Aerot, which is the largest company in the world aiming around to build not air taxi services, but actual flying cars that you can own. I will be exploring a lot around these eVTOL companies in the future while I'm trying to build my own. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and help me become the number one eVTOL vlogger. With that being said, thank you so much. I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.